Hello, welcome to this presentation about NeuroQual, a patient reported outcome measurement system for people with neurological disorders. This is the second of five presentations on this topic. And here we will focus on what NeuroQual is and what domains it measures. First, what is NeuroQual? NeuroQual refers to a methodology, a set of measures, and software that administers the measures. NeuroQual was initially targeted for use in five adult and two pediatric conditions. The adult conditions were epilepsy, ALS, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and stroke. The pediatric conditions were epilepsy and muscular dystrophies. These conditions were chosen on the basis of disease prevalence, impact on quality of life, whether or not there were promising treatments available or in the pipeline, and the likelihood of seeing change in health-related quality of life. Since NeuroQual has become available, it has been used in additional neurological conditions. These are the domains of health assessed by NeuroQual. NeuroQual assesses aspects of physical, mental, and social health. The physical health domain includes measures of fatigue, sleep disturbance, upper extremity function, and mobility for adults. For children and adolescents, NeuroQual contains measures of fatigue, pain, upper extremity, and mobility. Pediatric upper extremity and mobility measures are not fully developed into, into item banks. For adults, bowel and bladder function and sexual function measures are not fully developed either. The mental health domain includes measures of anxiety, depression, stigma, and cognitive function for both adult and pediatric patients. There are also measures of positive affect and well-being for adults and an anger measure for children and adolescents. Communication is a scale rather than an item bank. End-of-life concerns is in an early stage of a development. There are two adult measures of social health. The ability to participate in roles and activities and satisfaction with those roles and activities. There is only one fully developed pediatric measure, interactions with peers. The interactions with adult measure is still in development. NeuroQual includes three different types of instruments. Computer adaptive tests or CATS, short forms, and scales. These instrument types vary in terms of mode of administration, precision, and length. Most, but not all, of the fully developed instruments in NeuroQual are available as CATS and short forms. CATS are administered adaptively, with participants receiving a variable number of items and item content. A short form is a fixed length, with all participants responding to the same items. Here is a list of the available adult measures and the type of instrument they are. This slide also shows the number of items in each of the measures. As you can see, all of the adult instruments, except for communication and sleep disturbance, are available as item banks. Here is a list of the available pediatric measures and the type of instruments they are. As you can see, two of the pediatric measures, anger and pain, are available only as short forms. Two of the pediatric measures, mobility and upper extremity function, are only available as scales. This concludes the presentation on NeuroQual. In the next presentation in the series, I will describe how NeuroQual was developed. Thank you. This work has been supported through the National Institute for Neurological Disorders and Stroke.